Hello everybody, welcome to St. Petersburg, Florida for the 2005 Chrysler Jeep Offshore Super Series World Championship. It's been a long year for OSS starting in Biloxi, Mississippi, and we're going to end the year here at the World Championships in St. Petersburg, Florida. The dry pits are here at the beautiful Vinoy Park in St. Pete downtown. The race course is going to be off St. Pete Beach on the other side of town. A lot of obstacles to overcome, but everybody here at OSS is doing their best to make the best of this situation. There you see some of the crew from Page Motorsports with their number 31 Super Cat Light, Page Motorsports. There's the JEM Motorsports support trailer. Team Paradise all the way from Wisconsin here. Beautiful MTI, number 77 with Sterling Power. Rick Perthel and will be running that boat in the PX class. Another PX boat here is the number six JEM Intero. Former Super Cat entry will be running in PX class here in St. Petersburg. JEM in Rome is a 40 foot motion with Mercury Super Cat power. Jay Muller is the owner and throttle man, and Daniel Punch is the driver. You see the Nichols offshore rig. Team Mojo with their super stock entry. S1 showing there the national champions here. 
Grant Bruggerman, and Stan Perkoski in the Lojo. Sponsored by the Naughty Goose Saloon. Super V like number 30. Foot Phantom, Screaming Eagle. Typhoon from New York, Glenn Murray, Randy Schluss, and Bertel Schmidt, the owners of Team Typhoon Super V Light Entry. There's Eric Cormier and Bruce Suroffs, WHM Mini Me, Activator with Mercury Power. There's number four wild card throttle up propellers, formerly Gen Pro Trans. This guy's on a tear for the past two years, won the national championship the past two seasons in offshore super series, looking to add a world championship to their resume. There's the wild ride at 29 foot extreme. They'll have a guest driver this week where Ben Hedrick will be teaming up with Larry Kostelak. Number 99 switch entry, Kurt Watkins and Rick Turmel. Jamal's getting married this weekend here at the championships. 39 foot extreme. Mercury 525s. There's one of the Pier 57 boats here. That'll be Luke Dickey and Reggie Fountain in that. There's Fury, number 88, 39 foot Phantom. Both these boats in the Super V class. Pier 57 with Mercury Power, the Fury with Vortec Power. There's Adrenaline Team Spider-Man, number eight, pretty much unstoppable all season long in the Super V class. Another Pier 57 entry, this one's Twisted Metal Motorsports. Out of the Sarasota area, not far from here in St. Pete. There's Lightning Strikes, Bob Teague and Mike Flanagan aboard. This Beautiful 38 Donzi. Hometown race for Lightning Strikes, which is sponsored by Lightning Bay Performance Marine here in St. Petersburg. There's the Lone Shark S67. It's another super stock class entry. 32 foot Doug Wright Aerospeed Marine. There's the AMT Super Stock Entry S18, the Bermuda Barracuda, Chris Marshall and Dennis Berry. As you can see, there's lots of nice equipment here in the pits in St. Petersburg. Some of the people for the FMX Freestyle Motocross show here in St. Pete warming up. Maybe it's a little chilly here in St. Pete this morning. There's Steve Curtis, throttle man for Reliable Carriers. Another shot of the JEM Company's Interom PX class entry. Jay Muller and Daniel Punch. Foot Motion. Sponsorship this week includes Cool Mint Listerine Pocket Packs for JEM and WHM Motorsports. There's the Super V Fury entry going in to test. Here you can see the big Listerine logo on the deck of the JEM. You can see the pit area, wet pit area set up here at the DeSoto Park in St. Pete. Going airborne now for the first race of the week. Very rough waters off St. Petersburg here today. A lot of people expected flat waters all week here in St. Pete. We show up here in big seas on this first day, four to six foot, big swell. Should make for some very exciting racing here in St. Petersburg at the 2005 Chrysler Jeep Offshore World Championships. Here we are on the parade lap. There you see William Kern all the way from Galveston, Texas, 
running his beautiful Sonic as the pace boat here for the Offshore Super Series Championship race. You can see the big swells off St. Pete Beach here, heading from the Soto Park down to the race course area, which is off the South St. Pete Beach area, off the Don Cesar Hotel. This first race should have the PX class, including the JEM number six, JEM Enterome, Listerine Pocket Packs entry. Daniel Funch will be the driver. Jay Muller will be the owner and throttle man. And this number 77 is Team Paradise. It's a MTI with Sterling Power all the way from Wisconsin. Rick Perfell is the owner and driver and throttle man. There you can see another one of the pace boats, beautiful Donzi there. Getting ready to go with the first start here, the Donzi pace boat leading the PX boats up onto plane. JEM and Paradise. Definitely bumpy waters off St. Pete here today, but these 40 footers shouldn't have a whole lot of problems with that. Still on the braid lap here. There you can see the green flag drop to cut onboard cameras on both these boats. Be some exciting racing in this bumpy water. JEM seems to have the early advantage here taking off the bumpy water over Paradise. Paradise number 77, beautiful 2004 MTI 42 footer. Sponsors for Paradise include Marine Technology. Supercat Rigging, Laborsi Marine, Shipyard Marine, Sterling Performance, and Perthel Brothers, Inc. The boat's equipped with twin 1500 horsepower Sterling inboard. The owner, driver, and throttle man is Rick Purcell, who throttles with the foot throttle. The navigator is Steve Wolf from Germantown, Wisconsin. This boat always looks immaculate, beautiful geographic paint job. With custom rigging by Supercat Rigging is second to none. Beautiful work featured in all kinds of magazines, TV articles, TV shows, newspaper articles. Rick Fertel always does a great job of attracting all his fans to the pit area. Always looking to show off his beautiful piece of machinery here. Artwork in motion. Paradise is a beautiful 42-foot MCI. See him making the turn off the north end of the course here in St. Pete, heading out into the Gulf. Definitely bumpy waters. Big air time here off St. Pete Beach. The 2005 Jeep Chrysler Offshore Super Series Championship race. Paradise only made a few appearances on the circuit this year. One was in St. Clair, Michigan for the river race on the St. Clair River. And the other was on the Miami Vice photo shoot for the filming of the Colin Farrell Jamie Fox will be coming up next year. The rear onboard camera shot off the back of Paradise and the start of the race.
definitely a bumpy ride even in this 42 foot MPI. Moving up to the front of the pack in the PX class, this is Interrome JEM Listerine Pocket Pack. Number six, former Supercat entry, owned and throttled by Jay Muller from Upper Saddle River, New Jersey, and driven by Daniel Funch, also from New Jersey. Daniel Funch is the owner of Interrome Fragrance Company. He's a 40-foot motion cat. Rigged by Grant Custom Rigging in Fort Lauderdale. Powered by twin Mercury Supercat engines with Mercury number six drives. Drives are maintained by offshore outsides also in Fort Lauderdale. JM not really having any problems in these bumpy waters off St. Pete. Jay Muller for the throttle man for JM also throttles the WHM Motorsports Super Cat engine here in the off course of the series. Heading south, back down the beach along St. Petersburg now. JEM Company Limited, Interone, and Listerine, all sponsored for the number six PX entry. In the background there, you can see the WHM Map A entry that had flipped over at the start of the stock lap bridge. On board now. Dan Funch doing a great job at the wheel, driving this PX class 20 foot motion.
off the right side of the street. You can also see the freeze frame video helicopter off the very right. Number six, JEM Enterome Listerine Box Track Pack. Doing a great job here off of St. Petersburg in the 2005 Offshore Super Series Chrysler Jeep World Championship. down now onto the super stock class race. Early on in the race, you see the game on there, showed Barry Cuda back just a little bit. And this is Lone Shark. Lone Shark driver Mark Granite is from here in St. Pete Beach, Florida. The owner and throttle man, Dan Lawrence, is just south of here in Sarasota. Lone Shark F67 has a very good rookie season winning four races so far this season. Number S67 is a 32-foot Doug Wright Aerospeed Marine powered by Mercury Twin 2.5-liter outboard. The motors are maintained by Offshore Concept in Sarasota. Mark Granite, Dan Lawrence catching big air in the bumpy waters off of St. Pete Beach here at the World Championship. Guys doing a great job in their rookie season. There you can see that R22 with Tammy Page Photography aboard over there. Got a lot of great shots on her website. Of all this rough water action here in St. Petersburg. Lone Shark Race is doing a great job here near the front of the pack in Superstock class. I know they'd like to especially thank Quats Oil as well as D-Blaze Propellers for getting to the front of the pack. These guys doing a great job in this bumpy water off St. Petersburg. Mark Granite and Dan Lawrence aboard Lone Shark. Back at the field there, you can see some of the other super stock entries right in the middle of the screen there. That's Bermuda Barracuda with Chris Marshall and Dennis Berry aboard. It's a 30-foot AMT cat. You can 
Kelsey doubling up, catching big air here off St. Pete Beach. S18 for Muta Barry Cuda. Chris Marshall, the owner and driver, is from Bermuda. Dennis Barry, the throttle man who rigs, maintains, and builds the engines for Barry Cuda, is from Illinois. So it has a long history. It's the original 30 foot AMP built by Doug Wright. It's raced as Blondie, Mikisuki Indian Gaming, ATC Transmission Center, and several other names, but it's always been a front runner and runs very well. This guy just moved to the front of the pack after Lone Shark apparently missed the turn there off St. Pete. Do very good. I definitely turned it up a notch now. You can see he's running very well, moving out in this bumpy water off St. Pete. Dennis Barry, Chris Marshall, no stranger running at the front of the pack. Two very experienced guys racing all over the place and won many championships together. Word has it they have a new 32-foot Doug Wright on order to feed in the popular offshore Super Series Cat Outboard class next season, which promises to be one of the biggest classes in offshore Super Series in 2006. Running very strong at the front of the pack, S18 from Muta Barracuda. Chris Marshall and Dennis Perry doing a great job. Back now, you can see Lone Shark realize their mistake, got back on course. Mark Granite and Dan Lawrence aboard, trying to make up some ground after missing a buoy. Behind them, that's Dan Prakosti, Grant Brugman in the mojo. Another 32-foot Doug Wright, Aero Speed Marine. This year's national champion here in OSS, signified by the S1 on the boat. Naughty Goose and Saloons, Mojo Racing here. Rigged and maintained by Grant's Custom Rigging in Fort Lauderdale, as well as throttled by Grant Brugman. Dan Pekoski, the owner and driver, the owner of LeakSandHeat.com, servicing all your plumbing needs in the New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware area. As I said, Naughty Goose Saloons, Mojo, S1 with the 2005 National Champion here at the Offshore Super Series. Looking at a World Championship through their resume in their first season of racing together. Graphics on Mojo are done by Kinetic Animation out of Bradenton, Florida. Troy from Ellen always does a great job of keeping the boat in top shape, as well as the gear cases maintained by offshore outside of Fort Lauderdale. Power heads on this boat are maintained by Diamond Marine, also of Fort Lauderdale, long known as one of the best engine builders for outboards out there. Big air for the S1 Mojo here off St. Pete Beach, heading out off the beach.
coming down now on the number four wild card entry. Formerly Gen Pro Trans, now sponsored by Throttle Up Propellers. This is a 30 foot Phantom with a Mercury 525 inboard with the Bravo Drive. Larry Fontes is the throttle man. Willie Ross is the owner and driver. Another one is this year's national champion. They were the 2004 and 2005 all OS Fast National Champion. There you can see, these guys have no fear in the big water. That's why they're called the Crazy Cubans. Holding the throttles down in this rough water off St. Pete Beach. But at the front of the pack currently is the Super D Life class. Pontesh are not missing a beat on the throttle, doing a great job. And Willie really Rock keeping his running in a straight line. Throttle up propeller sponsor aboard. Wild card for this race. There's many propellers for lots of different teams to run here in the Offshore Super Series as well as the other series of racing. They sell new propellers as well as dial in your, your own propellers, lap finishing, all sorts of services. Throttle Up Propellers in St. Petersburg does a great job at whatever they do. See, they appear to be slowing down a little bit now. Throttle up, wild card does. Opening the hatch there. He's gotten word that they have a mechanical difficulty in the cockpit filling with smoke, so they, you can see them trying to let a little bit of smoke out of their cockpit there and keep going. Here. Coming down now on another 30-foot Phantom. This is number 83, the Screaming Eagle. The Campbell family out of Sarasota, Florida, with their driver, Matt Jones. Both Matt Jones and Alan Campbell are pilots for Delta and fly in the Air Force Reserve. Screaming Eagle, another 30-foot Phantom, powered by a Mercury 525 inboard with the Bravo Drive. Number 83, running very strong here at the end of the season here for the 2005 Offshore Super Series World Championship presented by Chrysler G. Running very strong. This boat spends a lot of time at Offshore Concepts in Sarasota getting worked on by John Vanderstel as well as Alan Campbell doing a lot of the work himself on it. Graphics on Screaming Eagle done by Kinetic Animation. There you can see two 30-foot Phantoms side by side. They're still flapping that hatch open in the wild card, trying to let some of that air out of the cockpit. Screaming Eagle getting ready to go by him on the outside. Screaming Eagle moving into first place now, passing to throttle up wild card. Screaming Eagle at the front of the pack now in Super D Light Cut. Matt Jones and Alan Campbell doing a great job. Alan Campbell on the throttle. Matt Jones at the wheel. Touching big air, almost as big as air as these guys fly in every day. These guys doing a great job off safety peak here.
Coming down now on a 29-foot extreme. This is Wild Ride, number five, this be light entry. Last year's world champion. This year, Wild Ride driver is Ben Hedrick. Bottle man is Larry Kostelak. Another boat that was rigged by Grant's Custom Rigging. This year, powered by a Mercury 525 inboard with a Hemco drive. So you can see Wild Ride getting ready to go by Throttle Up Wild Card here. And number five, Wild Ride. Always a front runner. As I said, took the championship last year in the West at the World Championship. Trying to move up now to catch up to Screaming Eagle to do it again here in St. Pete. There you can see Tammy Page shooting out of the helicopter, taking some her great photography there. Coming down now on another 30-foot Phantom in the Super V Light Class. This is Team Imco. Number 10, Matt Reed is the driver. George Armenia is the throttle man. This is a Vortec-powered 30-foot Phantom with an Imco drive, number 10. This guys have been improving every race this season. Doing great here in the bumpy waters off of St. Petersburg. You can see the lone shark going by them on the outside in the super stock class. Owner George Jr. has been working his butt off on this boat all year trying to improve its handling and speed. Seems to be paying off, doing a great job here in St. Petersburg. Team Imco, number 10, in the Super B Light class. There you can see wild cars throttle up, finally stopping after being overcome, boat not running properly. Team Info moving up another position into third place. Other competitors. In the V Light category, Typhoon, WHM Mini Me, Wild Card, Swaddle Up, Team Imco, Screaming Eagle, and Wild Ride. Back down now on the S1, Team Mojo running in second place in the Super Stock class. 
Grant Brugman and Stan Prakoski seem to really pick things up now. Getting used to this bumpy water here. Naughty Goose Saloon's Team Mojo doing a great job in the stock class. Beautiful 32 foot Doug Wright Aerospeed Marine. Powered by Twin 2.5 Mercury Outboard. Boats in this class are capable of speeds near 120 miles an hour. Not going near that fast today, but running very strong. Big air for Mojo there, doing a great job handling it. Stan Prakoski at the wheel, Grant Brugman on the throttle. At this point, they're trying to catch up to Bermuda Barracuda, who's in the lead in the Super Stock class. Other sponsors for Naughty Goose Saloon Mojo include leaksandheat.com and Tammy Page Photography. There you can see they're trying to catch up to Lone Shark actually. So they're in third currently. Lone Shark's currently in second and for you to Barracuda is in the lead. S67 Lone Shark, Mark Granite and Dan Lawrence aboard. Another 32 foot Doug Wright Aerospeed Marine. As Russell Kilpatrick, our helicopter pilot, looks forward, he notices Bermuda Barracuda stand it up. There you can see a piece of their engine cowling in the water. Hopefully they can continue on here at the front of the pack. Definitely a problem losing your engine cover, especially in rough water like this. Should any water splash up and go through the snout of one of these Mercury 2.5 liter outboards. We can see definitely the port cowling is gone, but the front part of the cowling is covering the snout. So they may be okay here with the Bermuda Barracuda. Run at the front of the pack in very rough conditions as the 2005 Jeep Chrysler Offshore Super Series World Championship. Bermuda Barracuda, 30 foot AMT cat out front. See, just the front part of that cowling is just covering up the air horn, which should be able to block any water from reaching the internals of that engine. Definitely very rough water off St. Petersburg, Florida for the first day of racing here. The 2005 Offshore Super Series World Championships presented by Chrysler Jeep. Mercury 2.5 liter outboard takes a lick and he keeps on kicking, running strong for Bermuda Barracuda here. Coming down on JEM number six, Interome Listerine Pocket Pack, 
front of the pack in TX class. Jay Muller and Dan Punch aboard the number six. 40 foot motion, Mercury Super Cat engines with Mercury number six drive. JEM Companies Limited. Another kinetic animation graphics job out of Bradenton, Florida there. Special thanks from JEM Companies to Listerine Pocket Pack, the Pfizer company, for their sponsorship for this race, and as well as the WHM Motorsports entry. The other entry in the PX class today is Team Paradise with Rick Rafael aboard. Video Bell 407 helicopter videotaping JEM Interome Listerine. Dan Bunch of Interome Fragrance and Flavor Company doing a great job, as well as Jay Muller on the throttles. JEM Motorsports here in the PX Class of 2005 Chrysler Jeep Offshore World Championships. First place in PX Class. Here you see the S6 entry, that's the WHM map A being towed in upside down. They uh, flipped right at the start of the race. And, uh, this was a brand new boat, 
owned and throttled by Gary Ballou and driven this race by Billy Moff of WHM. Uh, tough way to go for the guys with a brand new boat, but they're both out of the boat and seem to be okay and will be, be around to race another day. Very tough competitors, Gary Ballou and Billy Moff. There you see the problem solver, big scarab, towing them in. That's Michael Erthurk, president of the OPBA here in St. Petersburg. Back onto the PX class. This is Paradise, Rick Purcell, in his 42-foot MTI, powered by Sterling inboards with Mercury drives. In the boat with Rick Purcell is Steve Wolf as the navigator. Rick Purcell drives and foot throttles this beautiful MTI with twin 1500 horsepower Sterling inboard. Apparently having some sort of problem here today. Not, not able to give a whole lot of chase to the JEM Motorsports boat, but still running strong after the whole race. Team Paradise, all the way from Wisconsin, beautiful 42-foot MTI running in the PX class here at the Offshore Super Series Chrysler Jeep World Championship in 2005. Great, exciting day of racing here for the first day, first race here in St. Petersburg. Very rough water, something we've looked forward to all year on the Offshore Super Series circuit. There you see the beautiful Don Cesar Hotel on the St. Pete Beach. Pretty much race central to watch the races here, as well as the Vinoy Hotel on the other side of St. Petersburg where the dry pits are located. Lots of great action today for the first round of racing. There you see the winners in Super V Light. Wild Ride ended up coming away with the win with Ben Hedrick and Larry Kostelak aboard Screaming Eagle in second and Team Imco in third. In the super stock category, Bermuda Barracuda, number S18, came away with the win while Mojo finished in second place and the Lone Shark was third. In the OSX Extreme Class, JEM Motorsports Interome Listerine was your winner, followed in second place by Paradise. Great first race hack action here for the 2005 Offshore Super Series Jeep Chrysler World Championship. Special thanks to Russell Kilpatrick for doing a great job as always as our helicopter pilot in his beautiful 407 Bell. We're going to leave you with a lot of the action here in the pit area. They did a great job of setting all this up and you'll be able to see some of the freestyle motocross here as well as some of the other accidents from the uh, last few races of the season.
guys.
Thank you.